How's it going guys? I'm Dionysius and welcome to another episode of Siege Strats, a series where I give beginner strategies on how to attack in Rainbow Six Siege. After the Twitter vote last week, this video is focusing on the bar cocktail lounge site of Cafe Dostoevsky. Your end objective in this strategy is going to be opening this wall, the west wall behind the bar and planting behind the bar. This strategy is much more difficult to achieve than most and focuses on a lot of flank watching and team protection, so let's jump right into it. There are three main operators you're going to need for this attack. You'll need a hard breacher to open a couple of different walls to allow you more map control, and that'll be Thermite. You'll also need someone who's able to deny the flanks and help you safely hold areas of the map, so Nomad is going to be great for this. On the chance they bring somebody to deny the walls we need to breach, Thatcher will be incredibly useful as well. The first thing you need to do is establish some top floor map control. Getting in the building safely is going to be one of the toughest parts of this strategy. The best way to approach this is from the roof. The two hatches need to be open, but the primary one you'll be using is the red stairs hatch. Have someone drone well from the hatch once it is open, and make sure the area is safe to drop. You'll need one person to stay up top and guard down the red stairs for a flank, and two to drop. One will be guarding the door at the top of red, and the other will be Thermite opening this wall into piano. Using this wall opening and the windows, you need to clear out and get control of the piano lounge. This room is vital to the success of this push. It's very common for someone to hold up on the stage near the piano, and it's also important to keep in mind that the furniture here is not bulletproof. Once this map control is established, it's time to set up your flank denial. Put one air jab on the rotating fan in Cigar Shop, and one on the doorway to White Corridor. This denies both main avenues of defensive retake potential, and putting the air jab on the fan instead of the doorway covers for if they rotate around New Balcony instead of coming through Bar Door. If the wall we are planning on breaching is electrified, you can deny this utility from the roof with Thatcher AMP here against the air ducts. Now that we have control of our staging area and the flanks are being effectively watched, it's time for the execute. You need to open the wall from piano into the area behind the bar using Thermite's exothermic charge. There are a lot of places for enemies to potentially be hidden behind this wall, so make sure you get a safe spot once you start the breaching. The wall opposite has the potential to be very dangerous if it hasn't been reinforced, as you can be shot through it from the top of white stairs. There's also a good chance someone may be holding in the freezer as well, so make sure you clear them out effectively. Lastly, there may be a rotate into the bathroom on the right hand side that could make things difficult for you as well. Place a Nomad air jab on the far door into bar to protect from that angle, and have Thatcher or another operator hold from the roof skylight to try and stop the enemy pushing up on you while planting. Move in and plant in front of the trash bags in bar. This area keeps you covered from inside behind the bar, the soft wall that I mentioned, and keeps you covered from the entire bar site unless the defenders push onto you. Once the plant is down, it's time for the post plant. Once the diffuser is on the ground, it can be held effectively from a lot of places. Inside piano, you'll be able to hold several angles on the diffuser, including from the stage where the piano is, and behind the couch. You can also hold it from cigar shop doorway, as you can shoot through the bar itself onto the diffuser from this angle. Of course, the skylight will always give you the strongest angle onto this, and if you have someone up on the roof still, it should give you a very easy kill and round win. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any additions to this strategy or any comments on how effective it was for you, feel free to leave a comment below, and of course like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and to hear about the next Siege Strats video as soon as it drops. Don't forget to follow on Twitter as well with the link in the comments, and vote on the next poll for which map to cover next. Now, go and win some rounds, and I'll see you in the next one.